Well, hello, all of my paper pumpkin friends. I am so excited about April's kit called a Sarah thing. I've talked about this before, but I'm so excited to share with you today a little bit about what's coming if you haven't received it yet. So be watching for a box that looks like this. It's black and white with a little spot of color, which is a sneak peek of a color to come. So let's take a look at all of the fun things coming inside. Look at all of the fun things that come inside of the Acerathane kit. First, let's start off with our instructions. This is the first time we've done full color instructions in a paper pumpkin kit. We hope you love that because this is a very colorful kit and we don't want you to miss any of the details. You'll also notice three different sets of envelopes. That's because you're making three cards. All of them will be made on a black base and we've included card liners to go inside of your card so that you can, of course, write in it. We've got some little banners, some die cut pieces here, that will, little flags that will go on your card. And then these, I want to point out, are sticker sheets. Now, all of these sticker sheets um, have an adhesive on the back, so you can peel them off. You don't need to use adhesive like you normally would. I didn't want you to get confused with that, so this is also an adhesive sticker. So you can pull that part off. Because when you first see it, you might think you need to adhere it the way you normally would a piece of cardstock. And then of course our leaves. All right, now moving on, let's talk about the watercolor paper pieces. So this is for our three cards. We've got the heart and then a basic piece of watercolor paper and then one that's been kind of has a coating on it. I don't know if you can see that, that shimmer and shine. There we go. So two of them will have the shine, the heart and that piece. And then one is just a normal sheet of watercolor paper. Okay. You'll also receive a paintbrush inside of your kit. So this is something that you can use again and again after you're done making your cards. And then of course there's the free gift, your watercolor pencils. This just gives you a sampling um, for what we offer in our full line at Stampin' Up. And then we've got our basic black spot with our Acera Thing stamp set. Now this is my handwriting, you guys. I'm so excited to see it actual, like in actual real life. And then um, we've got our adhesives here. And then of course the black and white striped washi. And then these little glitter flowers that are so fun to work with. They're pretty thick, they're an acrylic. So those will be fun to adhere to your card as well. So now that you've seen what comes in the kit, let's take a look at the instructions and start with cards one and two. So if you flip open to the inside of your instructions, we're gonna be focusing on cards one and two, which the instructions for those two cards are right here. And we'll kind of interplay between card one and two as we go along because the techniques are very similar. Okay, these are the cards that we're gonna start with first. They're, they're labeled card one and two in your instructions, but they both have that resist on top of the card. So it, it's the same technique. So we'll set those aside so that you can we can move on to the actual coloring. So you're gonna use your watercolor pencils and start coloring in. Now you can color over the top of your resist because it won't pick up the color. Does that make sense? So you, can, you don't have to worry about coloring in like, a color, like you would a coloring book. So you can just go right over those lines like that. And then you can switch your, your colors. Now the colors will also bleed. So you can notice on the card that you've got a little bit of an orange color. That's because we're mixing these two together a little bit so they can kind of cross over. And the darker you color, the more vibrant your colors will be when you add water. So I've done, got one that's completed. And we'll move to our, our heart. Now that's, this is the same thing. So we've got our light color at the top. And then as we move down, and you can add in the darker, just like this. And then when you add water, they'll blend a little bit more together. So don't worry about coloring inside the lines. You can actually color over the lines on this one. And then even have some of them blend together. Add a little bit more there. Okay, so we've got step one for cards one and two. Okay, on to step two. For this step, you're going to need maybe a little bit of a paper towel and some water to use with your paintbrush, okay? So, we'll just dip your paintbrush in the water 
And a little tip that I like to, to point out is that you can always add more water, but you can't always take it away. So we'll just dab on there and then that color will blend beautifully together. And I'm just barely kind of tapping that color. And then if, I got too much, if I've gotten too much, then I can um, take some of that off so that I've got a really great saturated color. Now, the more you blend into um, the heart down below, then you'll notice some of that color blending back up into each other right here. You'll get a little bit of that um, pigment on the resist lines, but they'll wipe off easily after the heart has dried. It's so fun. And you don't have to worry about coloring outside the lines because the lines are already there for you. Okay, once that's done, then you can set it aside to dry. I'm gonna blend some of my color down from here. Oh, look at that color, I love that. Once it's dry, then you'll be able to get your paintbrush wet and just wipe it off the lines like this. All right, now let's work on our card number two, well, our card number one or two, this lattice piece right here. So I've gotten the darker um, purple and then the mambo up here. And then you can tell I've crossed over with the Pacific point and you can kind of see the green coming through. So that'll be more prevalent when we start coloring things in. Kind of get some of that water off of there. So I'll start with this darker purple and just kind of dab it. So you just want the color to absorb the water and be able to spread. So we need a little bit more. I like to use my finger. I don't know why, but get a little water on there. And it'll blend nicely together right here to create kind of a purple color. And then we're going to go into the yellow. Now I'm hesitant with this because I'm going from a lighter color or a darker color into a lighter color, but it makes it actually turn sort of a green. Now, but when I go into my yellow, I wanna make sure I clean my brush off just like that. So then we can start with our yellow and work our way back into that darker color. And then into our pink over here. So that's gonna create a little bit of an orange right here. Look how beautifully that blends. And no stress because those little resist, um, the resist print will keep your color right where you want it to be. These are the easier cards to start with. Start with these. <laughs> Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so while our watercolor pieces are drying, we're going to do some stamping in the next step. So let's pull in a little bit of grid paper so that we don't stamp on our countertop. That would not be a good thing. Okay, here we go. Okay, for step three, you'll need a little bit of that, your sticker sheet. So there are two pieces that come on one sheet. You'll need your ink spot, some washi tape, of course your stamp set, and your block. So the first image that I'm going to use is the, um, the big U. So we'll put that on our block. You can put it in the middle or to the side, however you prefer to stamp. And then we'll use our basic black ink, which you can cut on the side so that the lid comes off. We'll ink that up. And then we'll stamp that right about here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Looks good. We'll do the other one since it's sitting next to it. Kind of line it up, that's the beauty of photopolymer, right? Okay, and then we'll add a little bit of confetti or the little dots in the stamp set. Around that, ink that up a little bit. If you're worried about stamping on one or the other, you can always cut those down the middle with scissors if you'd like. Kind of tilt mine this way. It does not have to be perfect. Have fun with it. Okay, 
stamp our other side. Easy peasy. Okay, so then at the bottom, um, we'll also use our little words, love so much. So here's a little tip. If you pull off your little tiny words and line them up right around the U so that they're straight, then you can just put your block right over the top and it will pick those right up so that they'll be exactly where you want them to be. So we'll go ahead and ink those up. And then when you stamp them, you're gonna be right where you placed them. Perfect, every time. My other side. And you've got your sentiment done for your card. Now the finishing touch is the washi tape on the bottom. So you can peel up the bottom off of the sticker sheet and add your washi tape right here, or you can take this off just like this and add your washi and then it'll be ready to go on your card. So we'll just line this up at the bottom, just like that. Rip it across and tuck your tails, just like that. And you're ready to go and add that to your card. So now that you've stamped your sticker sheet, you can bring in your card base and you'll just lay this right over the top. It's already got that adhesive on it and you can lay it right down. It should go right to the end of the card. Voila, you've got your sentiment on your card. Adding the finishing touches to this card is a breeze. So you'll pull in your dry heart and use a bit of dimensionals on the back. Add your dimensionals to the back and then you pop the pieces off. Throw them on your floor, you can get them later. There we go, you got them. And we'll just adhere that to the front of the card, just like that. And now we'll bring in our acrylic flowers so that they can accent the heart. Okay, in order to add the flowers, you're going to need your sticker leaves, some adhesive dots or glue dots, and then some of your acrylic flowers. So just grab some of your leaves and you can place them on there wherever you'd like. I'm just gonna kind of estimate where I want those. It does not have to be perfect, no rhyme or reason. Okay, and then we'll add our flowers with our glue dots. So these have kind of a liner on one side and there's a rough side to your flower and a smooth side, and I would recommend putting your um, adhesive on the rough side. That's just what I like to do, because I think it's kind of cool to have the, the clear on the top, but you could do it either way, so it doesn't matter. You choose, and then you can peel off the little label. There we go, and adhere that right here. Off so you'd use more glue dots, but you get the idea. And then we'd add our purple one right here, right on top. And voila, you've finished your card. Now that we have that card done, let's clear our space and move on to the next card. Okay, for card number two, we're gonna bring in our lattice piece. So now that it's dried and ready to go, and we'll just do the same thing. We'll add our washi tape and do some stamping. So we'll just add some washi tape to the bottom like so, tear that off and tuck your tails. And then of course, I'll bring in one that's finished. You can kind of see how quickly that goes together. You can stamp your little dots and your best. Then I'll move on to that next step just for sake of time. So I'm going to use the U again, ink that up. and just line it right there with the best, just like that. And then when I add our the, let's bring that in here, got our, I'm gonna do that same trick, I'm gonna line it up right where I want it.
and then I'll set my block right down on the top and pick it right up. So then when I ink it up, it's exactly where I want it. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and add our sticker leaves. Just right here. Kind of eyeball that. I know I want my flower about right there. Okay, and then I've added some glue dots to the back of this flower and we'll adhere that onto the card just to finish it off. Like so. Then it's ready to go onto your black card base, just like the finished one. Now remember, this is a black card base, so when you write inside of it, you can't write on the black, so remember your card liner and adhere that inside the card as well so that your card's ready to go. And it pairs beautifully with your envelopes. Mix and match. All right, let's move on to card number three. For this one, you need the plain piece of watercolor paper. And this one we're going to just put some a color wash down in the bottom corner. So let me show you how you do that. We'll use our Pacific Point and Daffodil Delight pencils. And I'm going to start with my lighter color. So I'm just gonna color kind of in the bottom corner, about halfway up, just like that. And then I'll kind of cross my blue over my Pacific Point. And then when I blend them together, you'll get that green in the inside. All right, so we'll pull in my water again and my brush. Now you guys might want to take a look at what that card looks like when it's finished, kind of the look I'm going for. So this is the card that we're going to be making, and it's this wash in the background that I'm working on right now. So we're going to use our paintbrush, and you can use a paper towel as well if you'd like. This one you can have a little bit more water because there's nothing to keep the water from going everywhere. So I'm going to start with my yellow, and just kind of get it a little bit wet like this so that that color can blend. I'm going to start to blend into that blue, the Pacific Point. Do you see how it's turning green? Just like that. And then I'm going to clean my brush and start with my darker color and blend into my green. And I can always add more water. kind of blend it out. That's at least how I do my watercolor washes. Now that you've got your wash complete, you can set it aside to dry. Okay, now it's time for some stamping. So we'll pull in our little banner piece and we need our stamp set again. This time I put best on my block. I've got my spot. We can ink that up. And this card can be for the best mom, for the best teacher, for the best dad. You've got options in your stamp set. Pull that down, awesome. And then I'm gonna use the same trick that I did on the other card. I'll line up my four. The. Best, and then we've got teacher. And then I do this, if you're comfortable, you can just pick it up on the other side of your block, just like that. So then it's ready to go. So we'll ink that up. Put it down right where I want it. Just like that, for the best teacher. Okay, once your watercolor piece is dry, I've got one that's actually dry so that I can show you. Then you'll pull in your stamp set and add your little dots, your confetti or your watercolor pieces, little droplets. Okay, so I've got my watercolor droplets there. We'll ink those up and just kind of stamp off the paper and onto the side. I'm kind of creating like some splatters across here. doesn't have to be perfect. The beauty of watercoloring is that every single time you do this, it's going to look different. So embrace your inner artist and have fun with it. Okay. Now we've got to bring in a little bit of our washi tape and I'm just going to line that up in the center of my 
watercolor wash. You need to remember to do this when it's dry. And we'll rip and tuck our little tail. And then our best teacher will fit right on top of that with a little bit of dimensionals. So I'll take a couple of those. And be able to adhere that to the card. Just like so. Now I'm ready to attach this piece to the card base. So let's pull in our card base. Now you can see this little piece of um, stripe right here. That's another sticker sheet. So when you pull that in, you can just take that off and adhere it kind of cockeyed. So nothing has to be perfect. So this way, or if you want to match this one, you can flip it around and do it this way. It doesn't matter. And then when you add your this piece to your card, you're all set and ready to go just like that. Again, don't forget to add your liner to the inside of your card so that you can write inside of it. And then top it off with one of the envelopes that has that new in color, that lemon lime twist. Aren't you in love with that? It goes so well with all of the cards. Thanks everybody for joining me today. Hopefully I gave you lots of tips and tricks so that you are successful in creating your 12 cards. The next step is to send them to those you care about and let them know how much you love them. If you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me at a Sarah thing on Instagram or at facebook.com slash a Sarah thing. Let me know how you liked this kit. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.